In the years leading up to the 1980s, a new, more challenging disease was emerging in human populations with no detailed information about its cause, mode of transmission, prevention, or cure. It was an unprecedented time in human history. This disease will go on to emerge in numerous countries across continents with hundreds of thousands of people increasingly being infected. In early 1980s, cases of pneumocystis carina pneumonia, a lung infection caused by a fungus, Kaposi sarcoma, a cancer that caused lesions to grow in soft tissue, as well as severe immune deficiency were reported in the United States among some gay men and injection drug users. These were used to characterize the disease, with the CDC describing and designating the acquired immune deficiency syndrome. Although this disease was attached to specific groups, this way of thinking was later scratched as new cases of AIDS were identified in children and heterosexual individuals. The cause of AIDS was not identified until 1983 when the retroviruses, lymphadenopathy associated virus, and HTLV3 were identified as potential culprits by the Pasteur Institute in France and the National Cancer Institute respectively. The retrovirus HTLV3 LAV will later be christened Human Immunodeficiency Virus by the International Com Committee on the Taxonomy of Viruses. In 1987, the FDA approved the first antiretroviral medication, Zidovidine, for the prevention and treatment of HIV. Around this time, tens of thousands of infected individuals were reported in the United States with estimates of about 5 to 10 million worldwide by the World Health Organization. Stigmatization faced by individuals with HIV saw the enactment of the Americans with Disabilities Act, which prohibited discrimination against individuals with disabilities, including those with HIV. The closing of the 20th century saw the FDA approve two new drug therapies, including the first protease inhibitor with the use of highly active antiretroviral treatment, whose introduction correlated with significant declines in the rate of AIDS in patients in Cumbervere, a drug composed of two antiretroviral drugs. Over the years, the International Committee has come a long way in combating the spread of HIV, with multiple initiatives being undertaken, including the Global Fund, which was created by the UN General Assembly to procure funds for the fight against HIV. The introduction of generic antiretroviral drugs provided affordable medications, as well as the US President's Emergency Plan for AIDS Relief Initiative, which focused on combating HIV in other countries. It is important to keep in mind that whatever transpires elsewhere in a particular region, be it economic, social, or health related, subsequently becomes a major concern to the rest of the world, and the AIDS epidemic was no different.